this way. We're gonna ignore, ignore the kid for now. Huh? Cops? What do you want? Oh, the suicide from earlier, yeah. Had a bunch of trouble. When stuff like that happens, the value drops. Huh? The value of this place, obviously. That night, I was at home. I ate dinner, watched the sports, news, did some work, I brought home. Oh, did some work I brought home. <laughs> I thought it was like, I don't know. The economy is bad all over. I envy you guys. It's not like you have to worry about it going, uh, worry about going bankrupt or anything. Now is the time to spend. Use up all the company's budget. Whatever you want, you know. Cause trouble for everyone else, then let another department wipe your ass for you. Anything I noticed? No, nothing really. Oh yeah. I think it's the guy on the fifth floor, maybe. Yeah, I heard footsteps. Footsteps going up to the fifth floor. No, it's probably not even related, just in case. I've never actually met the guy on the fifth floor. I mean, it was the first time I ever got the sense that he actually lives there, you know? Oh yeah, also, this is just my own personal idea, but I think that Hiruma on the third floor got killed by Hikaru's ghost. Oh, I see Hikaru's ghost pretty often. You don't believe me, do you? Unfortunately, sir, I do. I've seen plenty of ghosts in my time. I'm just not used to other people seeing them. Oh, Morishima. Let's have a chit chat, my guy. Who the hell are you? And stuff like this with a face like that. Huh. We met somewhere. Maybe not. I know about the kid below dying. I'm not totally unrelated. I have nothing to talk to you about. I heard some noise on this floor. But I was in a bad mood. Uh, unfortunately, what happened right near me may as well have happened in another world. If you're done, then hurry up and take off. Your face pisses me off. Hey, rude. All right. Guess you gotta go confront the kid. I'm guessing the parents moved out then, right? Yeah. Okay. Only one door left. Four oh two. Hey, kid. 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 I remembered something. Kata was really terrified. He was really scared of something, especially that day. Yeah, it was scary. I went to a haunted house with Kata. Kata got really scared. Oh, they went to a haunted house. He got a big spook and had a heart attack because the kid had a weak heart. Oof. It was an old amusement park and all the ghosts were real veterans. It was really cold inside. It was super scary. It was almost like the real thing. No, but it's so cool. <laughs> you don't know what that means, do you? Huh? What? What's that? I wonder who that is. Who was it? I mean, it doesn't feel right. The sun was bright and was reflecting on the apartment building. I know. From the third floor of the apartment building. He was watching. Watching Hikaru. Hikaru, let's get out of here. With my foot. Hurry up! Luigi, no! He's coming! He disappeared! Huh? On the stairs! Help! Run! Oh. That's why the other kid doesn't know, huh? I'm sorry. I don't feel so good. Just leave me alone for a while. Please, I want to be alone. Okay, he does know, but he's just now remembering.
So that doesn't answer what happened to the guy, though. You're being called into the break room. Yes, sir. I'm on it. The lounge. Oh, good old Morikawa. Okay then. How about we take a break here? If that was not the case, I tried letting you move on your own. That made things much easier for me. Seriously. It was like a refreshing vacation. I was getting way too burnt out. Anyway, I do like investigating. You having fun? You don't need to answer. Everyone has their own opinions. Let's get down to business. That kid, Koichi Sugita. He's the key to this case. It's clear that the after effects of the incident are still there, but he has no subjective symptoms. The kid has shut it all away deep in the back of his memory. Taking our time getting him to bring those memories back would be best, but that'll take too much time. So what do we do? We need to force the truth onto him. That'll shake his memories loose. It's about time we found the truth. We've been investigating for four days. That's more than enough time to get a good feeling for this case. No, not really a feel for it. Whatever. Anyway, I want answers. Brindia, I kind of want to see what you're made of, too. You're being tested. What are you going to do? How about a simple three-choice game? Like a quiz. That's fair, right? But I won't go easy on you. The boss used to do karate. So I'll call this... 100 Question Kumite. Oh, God. You'll get 100 questions in a row. No breaks. Everyone has passed this. By the way, I made it to 300 Question Kumite. That's made it to 500 question can be taken. Boss decides at the end whether or not you passed. You can only take the challenge once. If you make a mistake, you're out. Borderline is all up to the boss. Anyway, it's basically a matter of motivation. This is all I can tell you. Let me know when you're ready. I'll wait till you get focused. Then we'll begin. Ready? Okay then, here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. You've got a time limit of 10 seconds per question. Okay? All right then, first question. Who was the first to discover the body? Was the fruit of Cur Wump of fruit. For which of the following roles has Tim Curry never been cast? Batman? Which famous of time is most commonly found in the Mediterranean? I don't know. What year was the original release outside of Japan? 96? What is the strait between Japan's Honshu and Hokkaido Islands called? I don't fucking know. Japan is comprised of four main islands, Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, and Okinawa? Which flying soda is the oldest? Coca-Cola. No. In Back to the Future series, the main character is portrayed by Michael J. God damn it. I, I meant to press down, but I pressed space. Who died at the apartment? Kinema. Who was the first full-time Japanese F1 driver? I don't know. Which of the following is the lightest weight class of boxing? Straw weight? Along with the fog or caviar, which flying is known as popular luxury food in Europe? Truffles? It's in the Olympics. Uh, how many of Jupiter's moons? Which boy was born from peach in Japanese mythology? I don't know. Well, that's from the Star River Phoenix in leading role. Or the first four words spoken on the telephone call ever. Okay. Okay. Was that actually a hundred questions? I don't know. I was 
Some of those I obviously knew. I love how like every now and again they'd occasionally throw in something related to the case. And then it was just like, oh, what was Bruce Willis's character in Die Hard? Like, oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably just going to speed that up in editing because otherwise it's just me staring blankly. Because I couldn't even, I got to a point where I didn't even bother reading the questions anymore <laughs> because it's like, I'm like, ah, shit, I'm timed. I can't waste time reading the questions. I've got to read and go. <clears> the <throat> hundred questions. You scored what you scored. Send yourself some flowers. You wash your soul clean. There are no such thing as points in our work. Be swayed by all the white noise. You did great, Vidya. You did just great. The boy must know the truth. This is your final job. Get rid of this darkness. The boy hopes for that as well. Go on. What the fuck was the point of the questions? I think that's what he was getting at was like, oh, yeah, to ignore all the bullshit, just find the answer or something like that. I don't know. But like whatever message they were trying to send with those questions, it didn't fucking land for me because I'm sitting here like, what the fuck is going on? It's time to wake up, Koichi. Up, Koichi. What's up? Oh yeah, I remembered something else. When I went to eat with Ikaru. Ikaru came with my mom and me to the cherry grill. I heard my favorite onion soup. Ikaru got me and ordered the same thing. And he said it was good. We also ate Caesar salad and hamburgers, and Ikaru laughed like a frog again. He looked so happy when he was eating. That was our last dinner. The next day, it's him again. He was always watching us. This time he chased after us. We escaped to an alley. A narrow alley would would make it easier. And then, then he caught it. Ran away down a different alley. Okay, so he chased after the kids. The one had a heart attack and died. Oh. Oh. I was so scared. I ran away as fast as I could. When I turned around, I saw his face. I ran as fast as I could. I had to get away. I didn't want to die. I left Hikaru on his own. I couldn't save him. Hmm. Same day. Take out. So did it work out? Did you kind of? Well, so we did it, huh? Regarding that, what's up with this anyway? How long do we have to do this? What's the problem? We're detectives. Back when I was in regional, it wasn't like this. Back in the day, right? The kind of stuff you were doing, I couldn't handle it. What the hell is the boss thinking? Just shut the fuck up. This is some fundamental shit. We're bitching about every goddamn thing. Fuck off. This is bullshit. The fuck you say to me? 
You little punk bitch. I'll fuck you think you're talking to. Fucking old timer. I'm talking to a fucking old timer. Is that a problem, huh? Is it? The fuck is wrong with you? I'll shoot you in the fucking face. Something just glittered. Yeah, something did, huh? What is that? The fuck? Oh, we're finally getting results at the stakeout. About time. I think that kid did it. No, I don't have conclusive evidence. But he had a motive. Okay, see... <clears throat> I'm trying... I was trying to, like, put the pieces together, right? Well, that's the thing. When I did, like, the hundred... The hundred question thing, right? One of the question is, like... What was the cause of death? Or, like, what is it for the case? And I said... And it was like, uh, suicide, accidental death, or murder. I said murder, and it said I was wrong. But I think we know it's not suicide. So it's an accidental death, then. I'm guessing... So I'm, I'm guessing Koichi wanted to get back at him, but didn't want to go too far, but ended up... But did accidentally end up going too far. Revenge, right? I came out of nowhere. I <laughs> look all refreshed. Do I? Whatever. Koichi kept the fact that Hiruma killed Hikaru to himself all bottled up inside. He thought he'd be killed too. An elementary school aged child with all that fear. The police ruled Hikaru's cause of death an accident. He'd always had a weak heart. Knowing that, Koichi made up his mind to get revenge for Hikaru protect himself, he'd kill Hiruma. And that's not it. Koichi didn't try to kill him. Huh? Well then. He went off to get killed. He wasn't able to save Hikaru and was upset about that. Hiruma had problems with his automatic ner- with his autonomic nerves. There was no place for him at home or at work. So Hiruma saw those two kids having fun and that set off a jealous rage. And then Hiruma approached Hikaru. Koichi tried to protect Hikaru, but Hikaru was killed right in front of him. Oh! So by getting himself killed, he thought he could get Hikaru to forgive him. Oh my god. How could a little kid like that, and that little body with all that fear and anxiety built up, he did that for his friend? It's hard to believe. Hikaru trusted him, and he didn't want to betray that. Being his age, he didn't want to give up on personal trust. What do you think? And at the same time as those kids once, too. But as we grow, that sort of primitive mindset becomes a hindrance for living in society. Everyone sheds those hindrances and focuses on only the mindsets necessary for surviving in society. Instead, can sharing those hindrances for growth and sappy shit like believing in people. We got rid of that stuff years ago. I just don't get it. Right, Naka? As long as I'm doing this job, I can't sympathize, but Hiruma's crime cannot be forgiven. Taking advantage of Hikaru's weak heart to apply extreme pressure on him and force his death. Even more so than his sin of destroying those kids' futures, I can't forgive Hiruma's very humanity itself. What's more surprising is the fact that such a pure heart still existed in this day and age. That and the ki that kid's very existence is a miracle in itself. Yeah. Yeah, it's like an actual miracle. To think that kids like that still exist. He needed to keep his promise to Hikaru. But I wonder if Hikaru ever forgave Koichi. Who knows? But I want to believe that it reached him. That Hikaru was watching over everything. Right, Vidya? I hope that kid holds on to that. Under that clear fear of mind. Yeah. That's, that's what I think too. I, I want to leave now.
Do I have to go back in here? Yes. I guess I have to talk to Cheesy. I want to apologize. I caused you a lot of trouble and got kind of hysteric. Being shot by that woman, being bothered by Mordecai's actions, and my health hasn't been very good. My hair is all messed up, and I hadn't slept much. My boss's cologne stunk, Sumio's not here, and with missing my bus and my friend getting married, my parents have been bugging me. I've had to visit some real dicks in the hospital for work. So, I'll go on a date with you to apologize. I want, to f I want you to forgive me. So basically, I was on my period. Parade is coming soon. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. Save the game, sure, why not? Anything new on placebo? Yep. So I can just, I can ignore like placebo altogether. And just go for what the tra whatever transmitter is. Let's go for port number two, Hana. Why did I fix my inner phone? Oh, shit, okay. I bought some materials, a block of rosewood. Put on my desk and stare at the reddish wood. Rosewood is pretty hot, so it's probably not very good for beginners. With this wood in front of my eyes, I somehow start feeling nostalgic. I decided to make a paper knife. I'm gonna use a knife to make a knife. Like stone carving stone. Or like dirt digging up dirt. Like a star begets a star. Oh, what's the t today's word? Too many cooks spoil the broth. Too many people are involved with the planning and execution of a thing. The varying opinions and directions can ruin said thing. True, true. Teach me more about plants. Yeah. Sorentia purpurea L. A perennial carnivorous plant, the leaves are connected to, at, to the base. They become cylindrical and are called bottle cotyledon. They grow to a length of 5 to 17 centimeters. The center blisters and the yellow green leaves have dark brown and pale red veins. The flowers bloom at the end of the long stems with a diameter of 4 to 5 centimeters. They bloom in spring. In Japanese, it is also called the purple heishiso. The Sorencia was first named so because they were sent from Canada to Europe by the French Canadian professor Michael Sadazine. Eight types are spread throughout North America. 15 people can win a pitcher plant via lottery. Famous carnivorous plant collector Naja has provided a Serencia purpurea to split up. Entry conditions will be made available on the website. Enter now. How to grow a Serencia purpurea. Keep in a well-lit area in warmer climates. Keep outdoors during winters. 
Uh, grow it carefully with water, providing it with humidity and keeping the roots wet. When splitting the plant, be careful not to destroy it. From Ito. I won last week's summer vacation special trip to see the wild Nepenthes Ventry of Kosa. So excited to go and I can't wait. The rest of my family lost. It'll be scary going on my own. I have to get to know the rest of the winners too. Isn't that lovely? Maybe I'll go check it out later. Back to the bar, okay. If I were going back to the bartender, to be like, look, I started whittling, just like you said I could. Are you proud of me yet, Mr. Bartender? I started. You started what? Whittling wood. Making a paper knife. That's good. Making a paper knife is like an introduction to knife work. I see. I don't know. There are many things in the world that one doesn't know. You know? Yes. You can really get lost in it. When whittling like that, time just flies by. Because it's such a primitive thing. I know what you mean. So like, it's the same as eating food or fucking women, huh? Yes. <laughs> just the same. But for women, whatever you do, you'll never understand them. However, as a man, you can totally understand a block of wood. With whittling, the more you do it, the more you get the hang of it, the more you understand the wood's features, right? I see. You're not very popular with the ladies, are you? No, I've pretty much given up hope when it comes to whipping. So how about men, Mr. Bartender? What's your thoughts on them, eh? How you doing? I bet. <laughs> Need someone to take that mustache for a ride, ah? Huh? <laughs> well, Mr. Bartender, how you feeling? Shut the fuck up. I'm fucking sleeping. God damn it, shut up! Just fuck off! I feel like shit. Investigation going. Hurry up and send reports on Kami's past and the recent movements of the HC unit. You need to be submitting regular reports. If you end up breaking your contract, you'll be dealt with accordingly. I have no intention of coddling you. Get your work done as you've been paid to do. Kamui this, Kamui that. Shut the fuck up. I'm still investigating. Hell yeah. Nice and simple. You can respect it. What's today's word? Many a true word is spoken in jest. Yep, that's a gum. The unexpected often comes from the normal and mundane. Also, things spoken as jokes can become the truth and cause conflict. Yep. Fuck. Huh? Media? What the hell is he doing? Wait, huh? Why do I know that his name is Vidya? That is a great question. I saw something rare this morning. Some HC unit looking guys were hanging around my building. The guy I apparently met at Babylon, the video guy, he was there. Apparently someone in my building died last night. According to the info I got from a new site database, the younger guy who lived on the third floor jumped and killed himself. Sounds like it was right around the time I was at the bar. I feel weird. Someone died in my building, but I didn't see it. I didn't hear the sound. I wasn't told by someone else living here. I first knew of it via my computer. It doesn't feel real. Anyway, the video you do is one repellent guy. Ouch. <laughs> Fuck you too. Maybe I can get some info from Kasabi. Oh uh, yeah. Is he there too? Uh, nope, Kasabi's been a bit busy.
Ah, uh, he was there. Oh. Hi. I'm on a goddamn stakeout. See that? Just as fucking cheerful as always. You got nothing for me? What are you watching? Or what are you talking about during times like this? Or some shit like that? You know, reporter questions? Hmm. Okay then. What are you watching? Can't tell you. Um, by the way. Hmm. So this guy. Never met before, have you? Okay, I'll introduce you. This is Ballsack. Fuck off, man. Hmm, <laughs> just kidding. This is Sumio. Be cool with him. Petsy, come on back. We're on a stakeout. He's a serious dude, as you can see. Bit of a hard ass, but still. Um. What? You just bored, or. What the fuck does it look like? Looks like it to me. Huh. So I look bored, huh? Yeah. Oh, do I? Yeah. For reals? Uh. What? You're dragging it on. So. So fucking bored. <laughs> I bet. So what do you want? I don't care that you came all the way here. I'm not giving you shit. What's the HC unit been up to recently? The guy in my building killed himself. And the guys from your unit have been creeping around. I got a bit of info on you from them. Hmm. That's where you live. HC unit does all kinds of shit. So then, did you meet Hachiska too? Oh, huh. Hey. No, but I saw Vidya. Oh, big dick, huh? Big dick? I told you, didn't I? He's a big dick. Goddamn right he is. Detectives need nicknames. Whatever. What's he doing? The fuck should I know? He's kind of a weirdo. Weirdo. For example, he's like a quiet, introverted teenager. So I'm not a teenager. More importantly, you rich? Huh? Oh, I'm pretty broke. Yes, it's frankly, but you lend a brother for <laughs> ah. Can you lend a brother fifty thousand yen? Me? You're gonna give me some info then. That's bribery. If you want to talk bribery? I'll talk bribery. Fuck it then. Okay, you can go now. Okay, whatever. See you. If you got money problems, please call me anytime. For the time being, I may be able to help you out. So. Okay. If I change my mind. Call me, okay? See you later. <laughs> I love the implication they just, he walks down to, you know, Hachiska and the main character down the road. It's like, hey, you guys know where I can find Kasabi? And they're like, oh, yeah, he's on a stakeout, like, uh, a few blocks away or, like, in this area of town. Like, just giving away to exactly what he's doing. He's like, oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah, hey, go interrupt him while they're in the middle of a stakeout. I'm sure it won't look suspicious at all. Took a whole pack of smokes to clear up my head. Looks like I had been overlooking too many things. When I first noticed the video was here in my building, he was watching a kid. An elementary school age kid. I somehow stuck with me, so I decided to ask a lady in the building whom I sort of know about it. Today, a kid dropped something and I went after him but couldn't catch up. So I told the lady to get to tell me about the kid. She apparently believed it right away. His name is Koichi Sagita. He told me that he was friends with that Hikaru Kobayashi kid who died of a heart attack a while ago. What is the video one with this Koichi kid? What is happening here? Something sketchy is going on. I'm not sure whether I should get any further involved. Anyway, the HC unit is involved. This guy can use it as an excuse for my client. I feel like shit. I'm smoking too much. I opened my window late at night, it was raining silently. My paper knife is almost ready, it's coming into shape. The knife I'm using to carve is just a regular climbing knife. It gradually spreads out from the base and has levels. It's used to carve to the end of the knife. At night, when I gaze at it, it glistens silver and gold. The carving knife is getting a bit blunt, so I'll need to buy a sharpening stone soon. I need to master sharpening methods too. 
looks like starting something new. Could branch off now then unexpected things. It's a paper knife. What do I even use it for? I want to sleep. Going off today. Today's word. Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. True. You absolutely have to deal with something bad, then the bad thing you know is preferable to the completely unknown bad thing. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, then. Let's see. Gotta talk to Kasabi. Talk to me, Red. Look, Gaffy. Sabi, you good, huh? Oh yeah. Don't worry about the money thing. Oh, okay, that's unfortunate. By the way, about Vidya. Tone is a bit familiar there, boy. Whatever. Just watch yourself. So what is? What about Big Dick? You know about his involvement with a kid named Koichi? Not my job. Whatever Big Dick does has nothing to do with me. But well, HCU and his work in that suicide case in my building. That means it was a murder or something, right? Who knows? The truth has been pretty much worked out. What ass? The speculation on all this drama. Huh. You're worn out talking to you. I'll talk some other time. Sabi. Oh. I'll call you again. Maybe I pissed him off. He totally dodged me. Damn, what now? It was suicide or murder or what? I'm gonna look into that guy in the third floor who died. I was checking out Koichi kid as well. A Kato kid died too. Fuck. I hate dealing with kids. God, true. Speak your truth, King. Ikaro Kobayashi kid lived in room 403, died on June 22nd. The cause of death was a heart attack. He was found on the street right there in the neighborhood. This kid was born with a weak heart, and he thought to have suffered a heart attack suddenly while playing. A neighbor noticed and called an ambulance right away, but the kid died in the hospital while undergoing emergency treatment without ever regaining consciousness. He assumed suicide, Kenichi Hirama lived in th room 301. He was 24 and apparently worked as an advertisement artist. And that Koichi Sakuda kid lives in room 402. my daily word oh it's the same day so there's no there's no daily word all right turtle I should probably try talking to that kid should be okay right that Koichi kid, but he ran away. <clears throat> I think it's because he's smart, rather than my approach being problematic. Once he heard I was with the media, he split. Looks like he and Vidya are doing okay. Vidya. Why do I care so much about this guy? I think it's mysteriousness that bothers me. I got all fucked up at Babylon. Vidya was nearby. The back to that whole situation is still strong inside of me. Some sort of irrational fear and Vidya's existence have linked together somehow. Something like that. Will the client be interested in this stuff? I can't stand that motherfucker. I'm sick of just tailing people like an asshole. 
Whatever. I keep on going for the time being. I'll try waiting at the apartment building. Another two hours and school should be getting out. I think about it. I've never really thought about what kind of people live in this building. Even living in the same building, strangers are strangers, I guess. Ah. Huh? Ah. Ah. Uh, hey. Hey, wait. I have to run, okay? I just want to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? Huh? Um. Well. Koichi, you were friends with Hikaru, right? So. I don't have anything to talk about, so. Bye. Bye. Hey, wait up. So I got enough. Shit. <laughs> I'll try asking Erica. Let's try asking Ed. The subject, how's it going? I have a favor to ask you. It's been a little incident in this building where I live. Some guy killed himself. And the HC unit is on the move. Which means that it may not have been just a simple suicide. Remember Vidya? He's been hanging around. Looks like he's been watching over this kid named Kuichi Segura. Sugida. I don't know why. It'd be easy if I could speak to you, to this Kuichi kid directly, but it doesn't look like he'll talk to me. I have no idea how to deal with kids, you know. If you're interested in helping me out? Go in for your reply. Erica takes me up on this. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> Back to the bar. It's time to get a drink. the paper knife. Oh yeah, I finished it. It's pretty cool. Hey, that's great. Now I'm working on my second piece. What is it? Making a turtle. A turtle figurine. That's unusual. I've got a pet turtle. Told me. Want to see it? See what? My turtle. I got a photo of him. Sure. Show me. Here it is. Let's see. Ugh. This is rather nasty. Wait a second. What's nasty about it? I mean, the pattern and this face. His face. He's fucking smiling. Is this him smiling? Whatever. You are my feelings. I'm going home. Fuck, man. Can't believe you don't see how lovely he is. Honestly, I'm with Morishima here. How you gonna fucking talk down a turtle like that? That's fucked up. <laughs> what do you mean you don't see how fucking adorable my turtle is, you fucking asshole? 